for me, this is the first time seeing the Terry trailer as well, so... Uh, yeah. Let's do this. I turn on the to watch how it seems good. Apparently, it's Venomal, yeah. This is gonna be fun. I'm still on a journey. Come get some. Traveling to new places. Why are they hiding his face so much? Is it that bad still? Fight, drink, eat, sleep, repeat. Seriously, it's a good life. I'll pick up the check. It's so odd. Ken number two. Come on, get ready. The stage's pretty cool though. Let's see. He seems to be having a lot of target combos. His anti-air capabilities with a, a normal are definitely there. Two special moves. Three special moves, four special moves that I just saw. That's probably number five as well. He seems to be having a lot of moves. Oh! Oh wait, is that Ken? Or is it Terry? I can't tell guys. Could be Ken. <laughs> oh, the stage from Field Fury, okay. Oh, damn. Is that an invincible dash? Now that's a good question. Oh, I have no idea what to think about. Uh, he seems to be having a lot of interesting moves. Um, I find it fascinating that they're trying to hide his face for some reason. At least that appears as if they're doing that, right? Here we're gonna be OP. We'll see about that. It's like, I think he has a lot of moves. Um, but at the end of the day, the amount of moves is not gonna matter. It's only how effective are the moves. I think visually the animations and everything are pretty pleasing. So yeah, a lot of potential, but we'll have to wait and see uh, how strong he really is. Uh, he seems to be having a couple of moves with corner carry. His projectile on the ground seems to be very annoying. Now, annoying is usually very, very good, so we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um, also, you could see that you can bait the projectile as well. You can fake it and not actually go for it and recover early. Uh, Terry looks like... seems promising so far. Yeah, I mean currently there's a, a build I think from Gamescom, but I could be wrong, you guys can tell me. Uh, some people have been mentioning throw loops being gone in the current version. Of, uh, might as well switch to this, right? So well, let's talk like this briefly about Terry in the future of Street Fighter, okay? Might as well put this, uh, th this in one video uh, because people are desperately wanting some changes to how the game generally works and um, supposedly um, throw loops for example seem to be affected in the upcoming patch. Now there's some contradictory like uh, uh, reports from Twitter. Some people are saying throw loops are gone, others are saying it was just uh, people not being familiar with the setup and not being able to do them properly, so they're still there. We don't really know. Like, throw loops being gone has been one of the number one, like, may maybe the number one request, okay? Since the release of the game, people are annoyed by throw loops, so let's have a conversation about that briefly. Because I, I understand from especially a beginner's perspective, throws are really annoying. And... Uh, also, from the viewer's perspective, throws are annoying because sometimes 
in competitive play, you'll see people getting throw looped in the corner until they die, and there is nothing else happening in the match, and people are like, wow, this is boring, I want to see something different. Um, the problem is, if you remove throw loops, you buff parries. And I can tell you that from a competitive standpoint, competitive players complain way more about perfect parry than they do about throw loops. Throw being a strong counter to parry is a necessity. We kind of need to have a factor uh, that counters the, uh, the, 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 the strong element of the parry. And throws do that. So if you nerf the throws, you have to nerf the parry. If you nerf the parry, you have to change the entire game. The, the way it works, the mechanics, they are all built around this type of balance with uh, the perfect parry being in place, the throws being in place to counter them properly. Technically, Capcom even buffed throw loops recently because they made the, the parry have more uh, recovery frames. So now it's even easier to punish a parry with a throw. So yeah, what do I think? Should throw loops be gone? I think from a visual perspective, like watching matches and then, and then, well, not seeing throw loops, I think I prefer that as well. I do think that it's visually not so interesting to see people getting thrown to death in the corner. But I understand for, for mechanically why it's there and why it's necessary. So yeah, maybe Capcom is going to have the balls to change this up significantly in the future. Currently, I don't think that's going to happen, okay? So when when people said on Twitter, oh, the current version does not have throw loops anymore, honestly, I was worried. I was worried uh, about these reports because I was like, okay, but surely they have to change the parry then too, right? Maybe those reports are just going to end up being false and the throw loops are just... Uh, are still there because I'd be shocked to see throw loops gone without any significant other change. I think that would be a disaster, by the way, if they did that. Uh, because then nobody will ever tech anymore. There is no reason to tech a throw ever if there's no throw loop in the corner, okay? Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, this is probably going to go to YouTube as a video as well. Let me know, should throw loops exist? Should they change the game drastically? Should everything stay as is and just give us Terry and the other characters and that's gonna give us more options and more novel things to work with in the game? What do you think? How long should Capcom wait to make significant, like really big changes to the system mechanics? Because, I mean, while we're at it, might as well change the Drive Rush. I mean, I've been complaining about Drive Rush for so long. Might as well change the freeze frame and how that works, right? Uh, really interested to see what Capcom is going to do about that. Because that's a risky move, you know? You're basically, well, changing the core of Street Fighter. Like, just imagine Street Fighter 4 removing uh, drive, uh, drive Rush Cancel. Uh, FADC, for example, you can't just, oh, FADC is so broken, let's remove it. Maybe that's a really drastic change, but you really have to consider. If you change throw loops, the parry has to be changed almost 100%. It will have to be changed. And the rest of the mechanics, they're dependent on the balancing of parry and throws. So, what do you do? Let me know in the comments below if you have an idea.